welcome. Today I'm going to be making for you all a chili cake recipe and this is used in preparation for Saraswati prayers or puja and today's video is going to be a collaboration video done together with Navin from Trini Indian Kitchen. So if you've never heard about his channel please make sure to go check it out at the end of this video. I will also leave the link for this his version of this recipe down below in the description box. So now let's get started on making the chili cake. So for this I have here one cup of sesame seeds and this is the white sesame seeds. You'll need one cup of sugar, quarter cup of water, some nutmeg and some cinnamon just to flavor this. You're going to start by putting up a pan and to that pan on medium heat you're going to add in the sesame seeds. So what I'm going to do is lightly toast these seeds until they have a nice golden brown color. Now you need to keep stirring it because if you don't, the seeds on the bottom will burn and then, you know, this will taste bad. So continuously stir it until it gets a nice golden brown color. You see that lovely color the seeds are getting? This is almost finished. So I'm just going to let it toast for one more minute and then this will be ready. Okay, so this is finished. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back into the same bowl that I had it in. Because if you were to leave it in the hot frying pan, it would continue to cook and it would burn. Next, put up a saucepan on medium heat. To that saucepan, add in the sugar and the water. You're going to mix this until it dissolves. And we're basically going to be making batasa. If you saw my batasa um, video, that's the same consistency you want the sugar to be. Okay, so the sugar has dissolved. Once that has happened, you're going to look for when the sugar starts to crystallize on the inner edge here of the pot. Just as it starts to crystallize is when we'll need to put in the other ingredients. So you want to make sure and feel for that. And and to know when the sugar is ready, when you run your spoon along the edge, the inside edge here of the pot, you're going to see a little snow-like um, substance on the spoon. So I'll show you guys what that looks like so you will know what to look for. Okay, so it's forming. I don't know if you all can see, but I can tell. can barely see it. So I'm going to add in the sesame seeds. I'm going to take this off the stove now. We'll take the heat off. Add in the sesame seeds. Add in the cinnamon and the nutmeg. And give this a mix. And move it off of the heat. Now you want to pour it onto a cookie tray. But I'm using whoopie pans today. You can make this into one big sheet. And then you can always break it up into smaller pieces. So here you have it, my chili cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you follow along, just as I told you all, you all will absolutely get it perfect. It's not hard and it's not um, soft, soft, soft. Um, it tastes really nice. I know you all may think this is like a sesame cake, but in when we do Hindu puja, we call it a chili cake. So yes, you can say it's like a sesame cake. Also, make sure go check out Navin from Trini Indian Kitchen version of this recipe. I can't wait to see how he makes his. So thank you all for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you like and subscribe. And I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!